Hello and welcome to this uh, video um, about the new Breezing Forms font creation um, interface called Easy Mode. My name is Markus from crosstech.de. Um, I am uh, the developer of Breezing Forms and today I want to show you how um, to create a simple uh, contact form with the uh, Easy Mode. So just let's start and click on Easy Mode. So what we see here now on the left um, are um, all available items, which are uh, basic um, objects like text field, checkbox, submit button. And we also have a special tab with the capture item and the calendar item. But uh, in the beginning we will need um, some stuff here from the basic um, objects items tab. Um, on the right side you see the um, working surface, um, as you can see here you have to drag the elements here. So um, since we are doing a um, contact form now, um, we will need um, a subject field, um, maybe a mail field, um, such that we are able to return the mail to sender. Then we uh, need of course a message field and at the end submit button. Um, when you hover over the elements you can see that they are um, surrounded by um, this frame and here you can change the size of each element and um, what we need now in the first place is we need to change the labels. So we just click on the label and then we click on the element tab and we see that uh, we now have the options for this <coughs> label and since this would be the subject I just enter subject um, but HTML is allowed also so why not using it. Then we update to see the change. Um, then we have the mail field, your email, then we update, and here we have the message field. Never forget the update. In here we um, don't need this label, so I just keep it empty. But um, I want, don't want to uh, remove the whole label since um, it keeps the distance to the left border. And as you can see here is the German uh, default value for um, submit. I will change this here in the default value field. Um, where enter just send. So um, we are done now with the basic um, contact form and after we saved it we're gonna have a first preview on it and as you can see here okay here it's a little bit out of place because of the t uh, longer text but um, that's basically um, all you need to um, have a simple contact form, um, but you still cannot send. Um, this is common behavior for breathing forms. Um, you will need a um, action on the submit button, otherwise the form wouldn't send. So after clicking on the send button, choosing element action, I choose one from the library and say at the click event. I choose the validate submit action which validates the whole form and finally submits it. But um, if it validates something um, we need to tell Breezing Forms which of those fields um, need to be validated um, in for instance uh, for uh, valid email address or the fields to be filled in. So I uh, again click on the desired element and now I choose the validation script for this element. 
here again, I choose one from the library. Um, and I enter uh, an error message in case um, someone leaves the subject empty. I will say please dot there. Enter a subject. And as validation, um, I want to make sure that the, that the text entered is not uh, empty, uh, that there is no, uh, that there is text, sorry, and click on update. Then I choose the email field and please enter a valid email and then I choose the validation valid email and again. I update. The message field itself um, mustn't be empty too, so I choose the error message and again I choose no oh, you know, empty. So as I as said before we need um, an action. Just want to make sure I just did it. Yes, right. And now um, we can change the form, but let's first put the distance to the left. A little bit like this. Here a little bit. And so on. So we're going to save it in order to be able to check it in the preview and here we see <coughs> the distance is done and the uh, validation is done as you can see here as well please enter subject, valid email we enter a subject right there we forget something and then we see please enter valid email and it jumps to the next missed field so I enter the email address and a message and then I am able to send it so um, it's not really styled and uh, we, we don't even have a thank you page um, but um, we have now set up a complete uh, contact form uh, a little complete contact form within a few minutes um, but now we're gonna add um, all the missing stuff like a capture and um, we also define better, sp define better spaces and this is what we're gonna do now. First um, we add a capture, this is simply done like this. Moving it, uh, moving it a little bit higher. So I set everything to seventy picks to so everything in line. And um, after all Everything is in one place except the submit button. We had 70 pixels here. So now we have a capture, <coughs> but we still don't have a, a thank you page. And um, by going to the tab form, you see that we are on page one of one, and we just create a new page now. As you can see, we stay at the same page we previously created. Um, this is just because um, if you're uh, going to create a multi-page, um, you would just hit the Create New Page button a couple of times until you have the amount you want it. After that, we're going to <coughs> page two, which will be the Thank You page. And here we're going to add some static text and say thank you for your message. 
guys. Close it. Okay. Now we're gonna. Uh, now we could save it, but the form itself doesn't know what um, uh, what page to switch to uh, once the form is submitted. This is uh, something we still have to set up, so we go to the form settings. And uh, what you see here um, is the automatically created um, form title and form name, which I'm about to change now. Um, simple contact. And here in the submitted script area, I create a um, custom script by clicking on the create code framework, as I want to. And um, as you uh, can see here, it creates a simple JavaScript function um, with um, the form name, such that, it's such that Breezing Forms is able to address to this function and at ff switch page and then page number which is 2. So what we have here is um, on the submitted script um, which means the um, form is, uh, submit, has been submitted successfully um, this script will be um, uh, will be run and um, it switches to page 2, which is the thank you page. <coughs> Just save the options and saving the form. And in the preview, oh, you see we started at page 2. This is because we are still at page 2, so we have to move to page 1 to be able to start our preview on page 1. So we now fill in the subject right there, email address, cool message, fill in the capture, I mistype, <coughs> and you see you get a response that the capture is missing or wrong. It auto refreshes the capture, so it focuses the field automatically. So you now can send the message and you are sent to the thank you page. So you have a complete um, contact form now that is secured and working. And uh, I hope you like this uh, little demonstration of the new Breezing Forms interface. I hope you um, enjoy. Um, breathing forms and especially the new interface and um, at uh, crosstech.de you will um, be able to um, watch and download um, a couple of tutorial videos within the next days and weeks and um, I hope you will uh, join and visit us soon and say goodbye. Bye.